Hello, this is Kyle from McGraw-Hill, and today I'm going to be walking through the pairing process, which is linking your Sakai Mildredelli course with a McGraw-Hill Connect course. So we're going to be creating the McGraw-Hill Connect courses and dropping them into your account. And in order to link them so that these students can get single sign-on and uh, we can establish a gradebook sync with your Sakai gradebook, we just need to walk through this process once for each class. Okay, so I go to the Mildred L.A. Sakai page, I put in my user ID and password, then I'm going to log in. Okay, and when I come in, I will see my course, and this is just a demo course for the purposes of this video, so I'll select it. Then on my toolbar, over here on the left-hand side, you'll notice that I have a button that says MH Campus, and this is the link that's going to take us to Connect. So, uh, let's click on this. Okay, and the first time that this loads up, it's going to play you a video, and then after the video, which kind of explains the process, it's actually going to ask you to accept the terms of service, so you'll want to do that. Once you accept the terms of service, it will take you to this page. It says My Courses, and you'll have to establish which materials you'd like to use and incorporate with your Sakai class. So um, in this instance, I'm going to use a medical terminology book. You're allowed to search by author, title, title, or ISBN. So feel free to use any of the sort. And I know that the textbook that I'm looking for is by the author, Alan. So I type that in and click Find Now. And it's going to bring me up all the books with authors that match that name. So I know, for instance, that this is actually the book that I want. Um, but if you want to, you know, if your books weren't on this page, you could just toggle through all the different pages until you find your text. But this is the book that I'd like, so I'm going to click Select. All right, and now you'll see that there's a Connect button here, and I just click on the Connect button. Okay, so the first time that I ever log in, this is very important, it's going to ask me if I've ever used Connect before, and I have two options, no, I'm new to Connect, or yes, I want to use my existing account, and we are always going to create an account before you, and we're going to be placing the master course in your account. So you'll always click, yes, I want to use my existing Connect account, Okay, and you'll just enter your information, and this is going to be your same Connect login and password. All right, and then submit. Okay, and now it's going to bring me into the Connect account. So this is my Connect account. You'll notice that I have a lot of titles in here because I do a lot of demos. Um, if you are teaching multiple sections and you've already used Connect, you'll see a lot of old courses. But you're just going to want to make sure that the course that you're looking for is already here. So for my instance, Mildred Ellie Demo Connect course is already here. I'm going to click, I want this for my students. Then I click Adopt Connect. And then it's going to take me to a screen that asks if I want a section in a new Connect course or a section in an existing Connect course. And every single time, we're going to click a section in an existing Connect course. Because if we were to click this, it's going to create a course that has no content. Since we've already pre-built the master courses and we're adding them to your accounts, you're going to want to make sure that you link up with the pre-built course. So you'll click select a section from an existing course. All right. Then you'll select the course that you would like, so demo course. And keep in mind that you can only pair a course one time. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. So that means if you've got one Sakai course, you can only link it with one Connect course. Um, so if a course is linked, it will be grayed out and you won't have the option to mess it up and, and pair it to multiple sections. So that's a nice convenience. But when you've selected the course, you're going to click Save. All right, now we get the lock, and that means that we are paired and everything is good to go. I'm going to go back into your Sakai instance by clicking Go to Campus, or I can click Return to McGraw-Hill Campus. It takes me to the same place. Okay, and I'm going to go to the main home page to show you what it's going to look like every time you access the course um, in Connect from here on out. So we'll click McGraw-Hill Campus button. and then up pops your course and now that you've established the link you just need to click on connect and you'll be taken into your course okay so this should look very familiar to those of you that have used connect but this is your course um, at any time you can close out and it'll take you right back into sakai 
So that covers how we actually pair the courses. In an upcoming set of videos, I'm going to show you the student registration process, and then I'm going to show you as an instructor um, how you can sync the grades with your Sakai gradebook. Thank you.